Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today I have a few sand art tips for you. Um, I know a lot of you guys love doing sand art and when you put these beautiful pieces of artwork together, you end up, you move them away from the table and all of a sudden they end up like this, what I call a sand snowstorm. And as you can see, all the beautiful layers of sand have mixed together. Instead of looking something like this, which is taken and you can see all the beautiful lines and all the layers that you did and I want to show you something special about this one. I've sealed this in such a way that I can even turn it upside down and I'm not going to get any mixtures. So I'm going to teach you a couple quick tips on how to keep your sand art from being like this and instead staying like this. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So there's two little tips that I want to give you about sand art. Number one is the technique that I call the tip technique. And that is if you want to have things go on like an angle, what you want to do is you just take your bottle and tip it to the side and then just pour your sand in and allow it just to fill in on an angle like that. Now, one of the things about sand art that's super important that people don't realize is that you have to do a little bit of tamping down. And what I mean by that is you get your sand where you want it, right? And then you give it a little knock with your finger, a little tamping down. And then you can see as you do that, your sand starts to settle because they're little grains, they settle into themselves. And what's gonna happen is as you add more sand, you are gonna find that the sand needs to settle or it is going to leave empty space above. So what you want to do is you want to tap that down and see that? You can see how that's tamping down. You can even give it a little knock like that, and tamping down like that. So as you can see, I'm starting to make sand on an angle here and if I want to, fill this up so that I keep that on the bottom with that sideways technique, but now I want to go straight, then what I do is as I get that filled in, I just make it stand upright. So there you can see, I'm starting to get my really pretty design. And as I tamp it down, that's going to make sure that my sand is settled into the bottle. The other thing that I want to show you and I want to share with you, and this is a really good technique, is you fill your beautiful artwork and you've got this great sand here and you've tamped it down and you want to add as much as you can to the top here, right here, as much as you can to the top here. And I'm going to add a little bit more so, so you can see how it tamps down. Watch this. See how, see how much that sunk? And you want to keep doing this because this is going to make sure that you're your beautiful artwork doesn't shift. And then once you've got your artwork to the point where it's tamped down as much as it'll go, that's when you want to add a little bit of glue. And you can use either Elmer's glue or hot glue. It's up to you. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue. Now, if you are going to use hot glue, and this is really super important, make sure that you have either glass or a thick plastic. What you don't want to use is a thin plastic because the hot glue gun will melt it. And if, the, if you are going to be using a uh, thinner plastic, then what you want to make sure is you use like an Elmer's glue. And an Elmer's glue is great too. But let this dry. Don't put your lid on until it's nice and dry. And it's going to form a plug up there that is going to allow your artwork to stand even when you tip it over upside down. It's going to keep it from falling out and it's also going to keep the design so that the design does not get mooshed up and all kind of fluffled, as you'd like to say. But um, what I love about using the glue is that it keeps it so that once you're all done and you put the cap on, you see the plug right here, this is not going to go anywhere because what happens is people will drop their sand art and, and all of the stuff mixes up and it ends up looking like this. And that can be a little little sad after you've spent so much time creating these beautiful patterns. So there you have it. A couple quick tips to keep your sand art from looking like this at your next event. For more great ideas, check us out at sophie-world.com because you know we love to give you our tips. Mm -hmm.